welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you wish to donate towards my channel all the links are in the description box down below and i would like to say thank you to the person that gave me the super chat yesterday 4.99 i appreciate you and thank you um i actually was going to write down the name but i sat down before i got to my phone so thank you anyway in the comments i said thank you on the actual comment but i wanted to say thank you here okay so we have a main female out here we have love is strange um once upon a midnight jury creativity genius writing expression and artistic flow so you could be a writer a poet some type of artist seems like you're a very smart person you may journal a lot that might be the way you get out your feelings okay so once upon a midnight jury so you could potentially be up late doing some of these activities all right let's get one more card and i'm doing something that i normally don't do because normally i just try to shuffle and get them out but for some reason i started uh shuffling them this way and then just taking them off the off the top so as y'all know everything is significant or important so you were chosen from the top pisces or you choosing something from the top all right so let's get around going and then i'm gonna clarify each one love is strange is giving me that you and this person are not the same you and these people are not the same all right and this is us letting the chips fall where they may okay pisces all right so we got a main female in despair and apparently about to receive a receive a gift okay and then we got a change to a wealthy man's pathway or to his journey to your pathway is like your purpose so apparently somebody's changing um doing something different we have distant horizons official person mature man so somebody's taking their time to grow grow up level up and then we got prosperity i mean on poverty mm, poverty high honor and lovers so poverty is lacking lacking something but either way whatever this poverty is it puts you into high honor whatever you were lacking um there's growth there and change in a situation we have judication courthouse and journey somebody's being sent to jail because judication and courthouse somebody's definitely going to jail also journey that's a change like for the people who ain't going to jail because that's not for all y'all but that's very specific somebody's technically going to jail here um so if you're dealing with a court case or something like that and you're not on an up and up or you basically know you did whatever it is you did or if you came here questioning if your ass going to jail you totally going to jail um that's where your journey is going to lead you somebody actually getting out of jail because that could also be reversed and somebody's coming out of jail somebody's being released from a prison um and prison just gave me so many things so prison could be a mental prison physical prison or spiritual prison it could be a criminal case um that you were being released from it could also be just some okay so what i want to say is like um jail could be metaphorically be 
a place that you didn't want to be at. So say you were in a marriage that you didn't want to be in. That's jail. That's prison. Um, say you were just at a job that you didn't want to be in. That's jail. That's prison. That's confinement. You were confined to that area. And now you're being released from that. And it's time to go. Okay. So don't necessarily have to be the state corrections facility. It could be the prison of this relationship was getting on my motherfucking nerves. Okay. <laughs> or this job or these people or just whatever so i'm getting that type of vibe as well so you're being released from something um others yeah because this looked like a person that's well dressed and going somewhere so that's why i'm getting released from that all right let's see what else somebody's journey somebody's pathway puts them on Mm, well, I guess I was right. Your journey and your pathway brings you to a wealthy man, mature man. Um, I don't know why I said that. Mature man, lovers, gift. Somebody grew up because this is giving me healing. So the blessing was growth. The blessing was elevation. The blessing was doing what you needed to do to get out of this situation. Somebody that was in despair high honor courthouse so that's giving me celestial so despair main man oh is that a wealthy man wealthy man official person high honor courthouse somebody leveled up in their ranking so leveled up in a spiritual rank this could be somebody in the military could be somebody like and anywhere where you can gain rank at so police force um, because this is totally law with courthouse being there. Spiritual realm, um, angels. You may have leveled up to get a new angel, a higher ranking angel or something. I don't know. Um, cause y'all, for some reason, y'all card gives me an elevation. Um, things have changed. So we got what is that a main main female change distant horizons poverty judication so somebody trying to put a main female in poverty is going to be judged something that somebody else did because somebody looks it looks like here main female change like if you got anything taken away from you, anything that was um, spiritually, because I'm getting spiritual here, divinely, to where you got taken and you got put in poverty, your situation changed. Whoever these people were that did this is totally going to jail. Because it's like uh, blocking. Like somebody tried to block you here. But then we got somebody that needed to grow up in a situation. So two things, well, more than two things, but two things that I see majorly there's growth, there's healing, um, and also a judgment is being made. And the judgment is heavenly higher up, also here in 3D, but somebody's being released from prison, a prison, a specific type of prison, and somebody else is going to prison. Do not pass, go, do not collect $200, yeah, type vibe. Whatever is happening is happening really quick. A sudden change, shocking news, surprise, and epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So one day you might get a phone call that Joe Blow has finally gotten there, whatever, and this person is locked up. This person is also concerned because I got a feeling that this person knows that they could potentially be locked up for the bullshit they've been doing. Um, we got mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflecting our wounds, and introspection. So you could be mirroring this person um or they marrying you but also seeing yourself for who you are and or them seeing themselves for who they are because i'm getting heavy on the cross watching somebody majorly in your business we get getting sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception perception out of focus so they seeing stuff but they don't know what they seeing also distorted view somebody's giving me drug use i keep telling y'all these people is on drugs listen to your intu intuition you cannot trust these people because their perception is distorted 
And when you want drugs, you mentally unstable. Like so, whoever this person is that's watching, looking, stalking, one specific person, one specific energy is totally mentally unstable. And for some reason, it seems like they think that they know everything. You know everything, but you know nothing. And you coming off as one of them people. And I don't want to say it, and it starts with a S T U P I D. Okay. Either way, <laughs> whoever it is. They're giving me, they think they're above it all or above everybody or they just look at people in a certain type of way, but they don't realize they are the drama, okay? So you were them, Pisces. Somebody is the drama, all right? Um, and also, just so y'all know, when I sat down here and I'm going to clarify, I'm going to get a card for each one of these lanes. So that's where we're at right now, one card for each one of these cards, um, spaces. All right, so... Um, when I sat down here, I, um, the song that I was sharing, it was two of them. My love don't cost a thing. Um, and then I think she said, why you trying to buy what's already yours? What I need from you is not available in stores. So a person basically thinking that you need money or you want money, but they're saying my love don't cost a thing. So this could be you or, that, you or them. You need somebody to know that your love don't cost a thing. What you need from them is the time. So either somebody thinks you're working too hard to try to make money for them or vice versa. But for some reason, when I stopped, it gave me somebody wants to take care of you or you try to take care of somebody else. So that's the reason why. Okay, so I didn't say that right. So whoever the person is, you may work, but they don't want you to work. They want you to just come to them because they're saying you don't need money. Their love don't cost a thing. But I be sometimes leery of people like this. Like, it's fine and that's okay. But what happens when you get mad or, you know what I'm saying, and now I done stop doing what I'm doing? So, yeah. Either way, the person is saying, my love don't cost a thing. But anyway, then somebody, then the other song was... Let me cater to you, cause baby, this is your day. Do anything for my man, baby, you blow me away. So somebody's saying, let me cater to you. I don't know if you're telling them or they telling you, but I want to cater to you. Um, I want to take care of you. So those songs, based, so down that does make sense. That is what the person is saying. Um, you don't have to do anything. I just want you to come and be with me. That's what that is doing. So... Yeah, I don't know who this person is. If you know this person or if you met this person already or if this is an energy in the, in the cut behind the scenes because y'all keep giving me heavy on the cross watching. People are watching, but nobody's saying nothing. That's the thing. So it's like uh, sending you subliminal messages or uh, telepathy. But see what I'm saying? Because this is exactly what this looks like. It's like hidden things are hidden um the choice that i want you to make the victory i mean the and travel um i want to give you the world because two of wands he's holding the world in his hands um celebrations with people and a choice so there's a new beginning on the table here pisces um with the fool being here spread your wings and fly um be careful that your judgment doesn't cause you to see things that are not there um Celebrate your success with people that you care about. Believe your believe in your personal power. And how can you celebrate the love that you have in your life? Be careful to see things that are not there, not seeing things that are not there. So change on your pathway. Um, illusions being created. Why did that give me the vibe like not making something more than what it is? That's what the moon gave me. So seeing exactly when people show you who they are, believe them. So not trying to see anything past what it is, which is also now, again, there's somebody that's behind the scenes manipulating something. Um, and you see what you see, okay? So stop trying to always see the best in people. Some of these people ain't got no best in them, okay, Pisces? That's it, that's all. Just know that this is what they are. They were designed and born to be whatever it is they are. And sometimes we have high hopes for, for people and we care more than they care. We gotta stop doing that. 
I know I stopped doing that because if you don't care, then why should I? At the end of the day, this is your life. You got to live it. I got to live mine and I got to walk my talk and live in my purpose. I can't walk your life or live your life for you. So at the end of the day, when you become a Pisces that actually knows that and understands that, this this journey is not for the faint of heart, okay? You're going to go through a lot of trials and tribulations. Why add other people's shit to your shit? And sometimes us being young, we don't realize that until it gets to be a certain type of age. But this is what we need to start, you know, teaching people. Regardless of what people think, zodiac signs, people, we live in them and we don't even realize like, okay, this is really, really, really real. I'm true to heart a Pisces or I'm true to heart this or, and people do change. So you could be leveled up and this, that, and third, but certain aspects of us are just what they are. And that's one of the things. We have a big heart. We are very caring. But sometimes we need to learn to care about our own damn selves. And that's it. That's all. So cater to yourself. Love yourself. Um, and that could be the journey that this is on. So even me saying that ain't no coincidence. So possibly the same exact thing. My love don't cost a thing. Because it don't. Pisces gives love freely and openly. But we got to be careful about who we give it to. So there's a choice. And for some reason, all I keep hearing is um, Scarface. But he said, who do I trust? And me. But for what I was hearing was, who do I love? I love myself. The only person I cannot be without is me. So I got to show up every day for me. So if you're not okay the people behind you not gonna be okay so you gotta cater to yourself first and you know that's it that's all i this ain't like the uh i ain't trying to give nobody no speech or nothing so i know y'all here for tarot but at the end of the day they all go hand in hand so if you don't like it then i probably ain't the person for you because internally my spirit tells me the this is what needs to be said so and i know i do that a lot on some of these readings and i know people be like you know can you cut it out because we came here for tarot but this part of tarot this is how it's going to function over here because i feel like the lessons need to be given even in the process so although we're doing insight and you know what is happening it still needs to be because regardless of the fact you can believe this or not it's for entertainment purposes purposes and it may coexist or uh co what is the word uh align with your life and everything else but we still have to walk our own authentic individual walk and we got to be our own authentic selves in the process so here it looks like there's a new beginning something fresh starting new so new beginnings possibilities innocence spontaneous being very optimistic Trusted in life, blind faith, adventure, and opportunity. This gives me, when it says innocence, like seeing the world like a child all over again. Because kids, they don't know that there's danger lurking in every corner. And until we, when we get a certain age, then all of a sudden we start being more care, more cautious. And as we should, but we should also be adventurous and experience life. Stop being so closed off is what that's giving me. So the gift a situation putting you in despair may have actually opened you up to a whole new beginning. Um, despair gives me like you worried about something and why when they gave you the gift of freedom. Sometimes people don't realize like when you losing a bunch of stuff or when um, stuff is happening, it's aligned by God. Nothing's going to happen without God letting it happen. Okay. So knowing that God is in everything. And so, and because I'm going to call it a tower because this week has been lots of towers. So things being removed, things being uh, shaken and and debris flying everywhere. So if you're losing stuff and things are being taken, the flip side of that is you're being freed up. So it's like showing you that some of these things you don't even need because eventually you move on and you'll get more stuff. Stuff is easy to get. But you can't get yourself back if you lose yourself. So it might be like being self-aware. What do you need? What do you really need for yourself, for your walk, for your journey? 
all right so we got a wealthy man pathway and a change here but then also we have the moon so illusion mystery dreams intuition fear anxiety subconscious mind and premonitions somebody's afraid afraid to move forward um so we got a wealthy man afraid like definitely afraid because i'm getting shaking in your boots person is afraid to move on well that's your choice you get to do that but sometimes we still got to take the step even when we're afraid and to me i learned and you know i'm only using me because i i'm here um when i'm afraid to do something that's when i push myself to do it even more because that tells me that especially if my there's nothing saying okay there's danger there so if i'm not gonna say okay i'm gonna push myself to walk in front of a, a truck no but if god is saying you need to move like for example i moved from where i was where i was from initially from delaware years ago in um 2010 and i was afraid because literally i'm getting ready to move a place from a place that i have been my whole entire life so what's going to happen when I get somewhere else? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. And I moved to Dallas, Texas, but that was, my dad was there. So he was the only person that I knew. But in Delaware, I have a lot of family. I was surrounded by people, things that were very familiar. I knew how to do this. I knew how to do that. But when I go to a different state, I'm not going to know anything. I'm just going to be there. But when I got there, it was a blessing. I met new people. Um, my job, like it, it just turned out to be to set me up to be where I am now. And although I'm going through stuff now, I know this is setting me up to do something again. God has leveled me up every time. Even when stuff seemed like it was falling apart and I'm losing, he leveled me up every time. So it's never been a point where, okay, I'm going to destroy everything or take anything from you. Or you have a tower and I don't already have the next step for you. So if you don't believe in God, so it's like having blind faith. You got to have blind faith. That's what the fool is. Blind faith. Although you can't see anything, you moving, but you can't see nothing. So spread your wings and fly. They're at the bottom of the cliff, but I mean, get ready to fall off this cliff, but their head is to the sky. They trust God. I trust God. I know he's not going to do anything that is not designed for my highest good. Like, why would he hurt me? He loved me. So sometimes people just need to really tap in and understand that the god that you serve he not trying to hurt you sometimes we just don't get the lesson and it'd be our own fault the things that we put ourselves into be our own fault so sometimes we move without asking sometimes we move like like you know but we got to trust in what we're hearing so that's trusting your own instincts your own intuition your own you got to have some discernment for situations all right this the horizon this mm, this the horizon that horizon is that cable all right either way this the horizons official person and a mature man so an uh, energy of like a father figure a leader um somebody that is stable and structured and turn into your life somebody that comes into network could be a soulmate could be a twin flame but anyway somebody that is put on your pathway to come and help you um celebrate celebrations friendships collaborations creativity friendship community and happiness so this situation right here changes your life puts you on the pathway of your purpose your destiny your design all right so we got poverty high honor and lovers again something that was planned because it's giving me a tower vibe like a tower had to happen in order for this thing to come into alignment because if you were in poverty from the beginning high honor puts you in a situation high honor is not poverty okay at all period so there is something that had to happen or did happen in order for you to get this right here um and so planning progress making decisions discovery leaving home travel plans happiness attaining goals foresight and literally that is giving me nothing but fool vibes like just leaving and doing the thing that you need to do you have to make a choice there is a situation that requires you to say i gotta go and do this i gotta go be here i gotta go 
I, I got to take a risk. I got to believe in myself and I got to take this risk on myself. So then we have the lover's card. Love, harmony, relationships, union, partnerships, sexuality, passion, values, alignment, strength of two, deep love, and a choice. So still another choice that needs to be made, Pisces, for this situation. And what do you want to do and how do you want to do it? But it brings forth the alignment and the placement of where you're supposed to be because placement for some reason is giving me like divine and stars the placement of the universe the placement of each individual star at a time so we got an ace of swords here mental clarity success breakthroughs new ideas success sharp mind new beginnings decisions so somebody could be making a decision to have some type of surgery um But either way, a new beginning. So also surgery is giving me something like cutting something off. So mental clarity, the clarity, the mental capacity to say that these things are not in alignment with my life. So leaving something behind, cutting it off. Then we have a ten of pentacles here. So a breakthrough coming in your energy also or has come. Um, I hear reckoning basically. So well, financial security from... Uh, for bringing things into fruition, inheritance. Inheritance gives me divine. Uh, my my father's a king. My father up in heaven is the king. Um, so that's inheritance and wealth, a uh, divine blessing. Um, uh, then I say something was being, being cut off, an uh, ending to something. So we got a page of pentacles out here, manifestation, reflecting financially, uh, opportunity, skill, development, ambition, desire, diligence, news, and information. So more news coming in Pisces to something that is going to help you move into the next phase. So we got a death here, an ending, and also endings bring new beginnings, change, transition, um, transformation a metamorphosis the end of a cycle so whatever cycle you were in bringing in something else you having to defend yourself moving in i'm getting you literally not gonna have to defend yourself it's almost like whatever happens um divine help divine intervention because you got a knight of swords here ambitious fast thinking action oriented brave motivation motivated for success defending your beliefs and seeking the truth then you got challenges, competition, protection, perseverance, defending yourself, standing up for yourself. So some type of defense that needs to be made, but also walking away from something. So it could be where you're tired of having to defend yourself. The energy of things coming in and things moving swiftly for you, Pisces. A battle that needs to be done. Either way, whatever this is, you may have left very quickly. You don't got time for that. Anybody got time for that? And then a page of pentacles here. Hardworking, productivity routines responsible slow and steady financially financial growth um achievements good investments ace of wands flying out here new projects inspiration uh ur inspiration an urge to create willpower desire king of pentacles this king of pentacles keeps coming out in your energy and i told y'all yesterday it reminds me of a car so things moving very quickly but divine intervention being put on something it's like um, conflict, upheaval. So divine is battling for you. That's what this is. And then here we go. We got the queen of pentacles and you get ten of cups at the end. Ten of cups keeps being your thing. Everything that you have gone through, the battles that you have been going through, the conflicts that you have been going through, God has always had his hand on you. You got ace, 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 new beginnings, new stuff. So it's like um, take action on your ideas. Being... So whatever this is right here, how we started, once upon a midnight, dreary, creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow, um, speak your mind to solve your problems. So clear, being very clear about situations or whatever is happening. This Ten of Cups, divine love, harmony and blissfulness, relationships, inner happiness, fulfillment, dreams coming true, family contentment. Everything you've planned for have worked out in life and love and it's good y'all keep getting this in y'all reading that keeps being the same exact vibe but these aces are telling me like there's been a battle there's been some stuff that you had to kind of go through in order to get here focus on your home your family's success and your abundance making sure that you're focused on the things that are important not these people that standing here behind you trying to intervene or interfere with your life let god fight your battles that's what that's looking like nurturing protective supportive reliable providing being able to provide financially and security being brought into your energy 
So you got a queen of pentacles and a king of pentacles out here. That's a divine match. It keeps being the same thing. Things are being, things had to come into alignment. Everything that you went through, Pisces. So the, the death and it was the ending of, ending of struggles, strife, conflict to move into a divine blessing. My love don't cost a thing. Somebody wants you to be like their equal in alignment, give and take. And then whatever is happening, because like I said, that lightning is happening very fast. But you got people all observing. It's giving me like, okay, this is a concert. Like your life is a movie and people are watching it. So Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming. Go with God.